For centuries, fly fishing has been considered the pastime of gentlemen. Its complexity and effortless grace are seen as more of an art form than a sport. Watching the line unfurl in perfect symmetry or the gentle sip of a trout taking a mayfly, it's impossible to resist the mystique of the angler's law. Yet the basis of the sport lies in a fundamental and often brutal animal relationship, that of prey and predator. In modern times, enterprising anglers around the globe have capitalised on predatory behaviour, targeting fish so large that they were previously thought to be uncatchable on a fly. The Exmouth Gulf is a major nursery for many reef fish. It parallels 260 kilometres of the West Australian coast. Great expanses of mangroves provide an important refuge for the juveniles of many fish species. The tide has great influence here, with each cycle flushing large numbers of juvenile fish in and out of the mangroves. Large predators like this queenfish are wise to where the food is and on the falling tide they prowl the edges of the mangrove forest. For fishing guide John O'Shales, the Gulf not only provides a place to work, but also a place to explore and have fun. You know, these are big predatory fish. We're not casting to your small to medium sized fish, we're just casting to really big fish. Um, and it's all visual. I mean, everything you see is in front of you. You see a massive fish laying up in the water or moving across the mangrove lines. You make him cast and you're seeing everything. You're seeing the eat, you're seeing how he runs, the jumps, and everything. You're on. Holy moly. Holy. Most of the time the queenfish run into the sticks, you know, that's their game. Then it's a matter of getting your boat in and out of the sticks, um, you know, and that often requires some pretty uh, hectic driving and uh, all parts of the body are used, you know. <laughs> if the fish runs you through the sticks, you know, it's only a matter of just picking them out. Again, the sticks don't even have barnacles on them, so if your line goes around, you just back the drag off and he can run through, you just one, two, three, four in your own open water, you know you've got a good chance of landing that fish. They absolutely love poppers. You put a surface fly anywhere near a queenie, he's going to react to it. The moment it lands in the water, he's onto it. He's either seeing it or he's detecting it, and if he's not swirling underneath the fly, he's absolutely just munching it. I mean, their mouths are just made for eating. The good thing is as well, it's an untapped fishery, so you know, your fish aren't actually spooked. You can make one cast, he comes up, swells the fly, you can recast as he moves off, put it over there, he'll turn around and eat the fly again. You'll have four or five shots of the same fish. Poppers are amazing because you're seeing everything, you know, it's visual. 
And it's quiet as well, you know, you've got mangroves, sunshine, it's super quiet. Boom! You know, that's what you want. It's, it's exciting. You know, you're seeing right in your face. Um, and Popper's just basically tops it off.